Welcome everybody, got a lively group today, it seems. Um, we welcome you this 17th Sunday after Pentecost. It is World Communion Sunday. And if you need an extra offering envelope, the World Communion Sunday envelopes are back by the um, offering plate, which we don't distribute uh, anymore because of COVID restrictions. But if you'd like the plate is back there, there will be one if you forgot to put your tithes in. Um, we welcome everybody this morning or this afternoon or evening, uh, or if you're watching on uh, Zoom right now. Um, we have our mission and ministry opportunities. Uh, you can see in the bulletin as well that there are many meetings going on and you wanna make sure that you check and get the date and time of your meeting so that you don't miss anything. There is the Freedom Bible Study. It is ongoing till November 27th. It is in the youth room and it starts at 8.30. You can drop in any time. Uh, everybody is welcome. 8.45 it starts the video, the DVD, so we've had exciting classes in there, so Come, enjoy it with us, and learn something more about Jesus. Thank you, Tony. We have a pulpit exchange, October 9th. It's wonderful to welcome back Pastor Hassan. As great as our visiting ministers were, it's just so nice to have, have her back with us. And, rested and refreshed and ready to start anew. Her husband will be with us um, next Sunday. Good morning, Pastor. Welcome back, Pastor. Good morning. <laughs> well, on behalf of the United Methodist Men and the entire congregation, actually, we're very pleased to welcome you back. We missed you very much. and. Uh, it's nice to have you back. It's just a small token for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I had a wonderful time together. My families are all doing great. So thank you so much. <laughs> I'm wearing a different hat. Uh, I'm wearing a hat of SPRC. I came back to find out I get to be here early. Anyway, uh, we welcome you back from SPRC. We're hoping that you had a wonderful time, uh, relaxing, uh, doing all the fun things that you wanted to do. And Ready maybe to work. <laughs> okay. Anyway, and, and the, the, ch the whole congregation feels the same way. So we have put this tree together over here that Dave Funk made for us and it's got all kinds of leaves on it, uh, leaves of congratulations, uh, leaves that, that tell you uh, we are so blessed to have you here and blessed to have you in the congregation. Uh, so it has all kinds of messages there for you. Oh, thank so, you. Well, you're you always welcome. surprise thank you. me. <laughs> well, thank oh. you. So you get to take the tree home. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Tree>. <laughs> No watering required. Okay. <laughs> and, and you know, we follow the calendar, and we found out that on the 9th of October, which is Pastor Appreciation Day, we get to appreciate her husband. Uh, <laughs> yes. So she's going to be gone. So here's a little card of appreciation, uh, and we hope that uh, there's a little gift in there that you can use and everything. So thank you thank so you. much. We appreciate you. We're glad you're here another year, and we're glad that you are so vitalized. Oh, my God. <laughs> We, we can't wait to see all this, this good right. stuff. So anyway, uh, we have got a cake for you, and it's in the social hall, and we want you to come and enjoy the cake with us, along with everybody here today. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for everything. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, so we have a garden pot garden party potluck coming up on October 22nd at 5 p.m. Uh, you can talk to Cece and let her know if you will be here. In the Reconciling Sunday, um, we will have a guest preacher, Reverend Alice Swanson. And that's going to be October 30th, uh, 1030 worship, and 12 o'clock we'll have a forum. And then September and October uh, upper rooms are available, large prints. Uh, copies are available in the church office, so you can contact Michelle there if you'd like to, to receive one. Any other announcements? Oh, I have an announcement. Thank you, Polly. <laughs> COVID brain. <laughs> So we drew uh, the raffle tickets for our trivia and treasures uh, last week. So there are some that didn't get picked up, whether you forgot your red ticket or your ticket raffle ticket stubs. Um, so there are four of them out there. Hopefully you saw the message in the uh, Friday Bulletin uh, update from Michelle that listed the ticket numbers. Uh, Dolores, thank you for calling me. Um, she won one of them. So. If you brought your tickets today, please be sure and check with us um, to pick up your raffle baskets. If not, please bring them next week um, so that we can uh, go ahead and get those raffle baskets delivered to the winners and um, not have to store them anymore. Yes? I'm making this announcement on behalf of PC because she was shot. <laughs> reiterating that there's a garden party on October 22nd in the garden at 5 p.m. 22nd. And um, hats are optional, and it's optional to bring for a prize a little um, tabletop scarecrow that you can use at your Halloween, and we'll have a contest to see I don't know how she's going to do it. <laughs> and also, she's having an ACA meeting for women on Wednesday at 5 in the quiet room for all adult children of alcoholics. Thank you. Jen. Yes, sir. Dave. I just want to clarify for the congregation, Pastor, we can harvest the leaves off the tree for you to take home, and it's optional for you to take the big wooden tree off, oh. or we can put the tree down in the basement. Okay. But anyway, the leaves are the important thing. That has the messages for you. <laughs> Any other announcements? Then let us be in an attitude of worship.
Now, if you'll please stand and join in the call to worship. O Lord, our gracious God, from all around the world this day, may a joyful shout of praise rise to your holy presence. From our brothers and sisters of every tongue and every tribe, from men and women, boys and girls, may the gladness of our God fill every heart. As we gather round your table, O Christ, your people rejoice in your salvation. May the whole world know that you alone are God. Your peace everywhere, your love always, your way every step. Glory to you, our God, our Father. Amen. Now if you remain standing and join in the opening hymn, we gather together. the earth right there are many things are happening here some are good some are bad some are fearful you know some are so bad and we know that there is a war is going on do you know where it is yeah Russia and Ukraine yes and there are some uh, people who were devastated by hurricanes Right? Yeah, they are in Florida and many other places, and there are many people who are hungry. Do you think our world is sad? Yes. Hopeless? No, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so you think we still have a hope? Yes. yes. So, what else do you see here? What else do you see? Do you see the hands that are holding our world? Yeah. Do you see the hands? Whose hands are these? My hands. But I think our God is holding our world with his hands. Amen? Amen. 
Yeah, our God. He's so loving. He's so caring. So he's holding our globe, our world with his hand. So many, many good things will happen. Ah, that's a wonderful question. Why do we go through war if God is holding this world? Yeah, yes. So many, many evil things are happening, but God is with us. God is with Ukraine people and people of faith everywhere. So today, World's Communion Sunday, so everybody um, do you know how many Christians are worshiping today? I have no idea. <laughs> but, but there are so many Christians all over the world. They are praying to God for peace, praying to God that the war and many, many horrible things just stop and bring more peace to this world. Okay, so I'm wearing this beautiful clothes. It's Korean traditional dress, right? And I think uh, other people wear some traditional, I think all of you are wearing traditional <laughs> <laughs> clothes. But, um, okay, Benga and Maid, would you please come for, you are, from uh, Nigeria, right? You are wearing your own, uh, something different, like a uh, Korean, right? C come forward, yes. Beautiful, thank you for wearing that. Okay, so you are, you are from where? Nigeria. Nigeria? I'm Nigeria. What, how do you say I love you in Nigerian? I'm from Ghana. Oh. How That's Igbo dialect. That's Igbo dialect. Oh, okay, okay. There are so many languages in Nigeria. Oh, okay. About 350. Oh, 350 languages in yes. Nigeria dialect. Yes. I cannot believe it. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you still can communicate with each other. Okay. <laughs> All right. Our primary language is English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody, come here, come here. Let's um, put our hands on our glove together. Okay. Yeah, just hands and let us pray together. Oh God of peace, God of love, thank you for helping us to see your loving hands holding our earth. We pray that you continue to bring your peace to this world so that everybody can have a happy life. Bless all the people of faith who are sharing the communion today. Let them be the hands and feet of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. His name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us all... Uh, okay. Hold, uh, hold our hands together. And let's do the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you. Let's go.
Good job, guys. <laughs> I can't see now. <laughs> that was beautiful. And I don't know if you can hear the harmony out there, but over here, amazing, amazing. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> you do this. One. I I know. <laughs> she likes to do this to me. <laughs> oh, as we prepare to receive our tithes and offerings, please be in an attitude of prayer. Gracious and giving God, we bring our tithes and offerings to you this day and pray as we give them that, they, that you will kindle in us deeper faith and a stronger commitment. We acknowledge that some of us have found our way back to you on our own. Others of us have lived into the faith that surrounded us from the time we were born, lived out in parents, grandparents, siblings, and spouses. However this faith found its way into our hearts, help us to kindle it to flame that the world might be set on fire with your love and compassion. In Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> standing as you can for the scripture reading responsive my brothers and sisters if anyone is detected in a transgression you who have received the spirit should restore such a one in the spirit of gentleness take care that yourselves are not tempted For if those who are, are nothing think they are something, they deceive themselves. All must test their own work, then that work, rather than their nature's work, will become cause for pride. For all must carry their own loads. Those who are taught the word must share in all good things with their teacher. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked for you reap whatever you sow. If you sow to your own flesh, you will reap corruption from the flesh. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. See what large letters I make when I am writing in my own hand? It is those who want to make a good showing in the flesh, who try to compel you to be circumcised, only that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Even the circumcised do not themselves obey the law, but they want you to be circumcised so that they may boast about your flesh. May I never boast of anything. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is anything but a new creation in everything. As for those who will follow this rule, peace be upon them, and mercy and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make trouble for me, for I carry the marks of Jesus branded on my body. May the grace of our Lord. Brothers and sisters, amen. 
Amen. This is the word of God for all God's people. Thanks be to God. So it's my first Sunday since I'm back, and I forgot one thing. Today I left my remote control controller in my office. So Dennis, you can help me. <laughs> it's always good to have uh, Dennis in the house. <laughs> yeah, you can. Thank you. But um, so as I began my 60 days renewal leave, I had a. Uh, Believe me, I had no plan, <laughs> except except 15 days of travel to Korea to celebrate my mom's uh, 90th birthday. So, but I uh, I wished that I could do I could try something new as many as possible, uh, and then the day before it began, I. The idea came to my mind. Thank you. Um, I want to join fitness center. <laughs> so my husband has been a member of 24 fitness center or in shape all his life, but I've never <laughs> been a member. So I joined in shape fitness center the very first day of my <laughs> Shabbat, and um, it is beautiful place in um, Brentwood, and uh, the, their motto is consistency gets results. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see this motto, this statement as you go out. So I say, okay, I will see you tomorrow. I loved my uh, new routine uh, there, and I, I've been there uh, almost every day. Um, and I tried a new things like uh, aqua fit class. Wow, that was a, quite an experience. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> and Zumba, <laughs> I tried three times. <laughs> Cycling, I tried once. <laughs> and muscle workout, look at that muscle. I love this, so I've been doing it every day. And ellipticals, yeah, that's really fun. It's good for your knees, for the whole body, so I think I, I'm doing better physically right now, and I feel uh, the muscle here and there, and that's good uh, feelings. And I realized that uh, it is never too late to start a new thing at any age. So you can start something new, uh, and it's fun, and it, it, it is always um, bringing good results. Uh, most of the time. So speaking of uh, trying new things, I want to do something new today. I think I don't, I have not spoken really Korean uh, during Sunday worship services, uh, only one word or two words here and there. The thing is, uh, my mom uh, has been watching our YouTube every week. <laughs> if she can see me, why not, right? But she doesn't know anything about computers, so my sister-in-law always you know, set up everything and show my face and the whole worship service, and she's been watching it. So I promised, I'm going to say something in Korean during my sermon <laughs> so that she can hear me speaking in Korean. So is it going, is it okay? Yes. All right, I'm, um, she will be surprised and she'll be very happy. So here it goes, Oma, Oma, I love you. Oh, that's English. <laughs> 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 
어, 엄마 너무너무 보고 싶고 요번에 잘 어, 해줘서 너무 고맙고 다시 오니까 우리 교인들이 이렇게 큰, 큰 나무에다가 얼마나 나를 사랑하는지 나를 어, 감사하게 생각하는지 다 써서 저렇게 나무를 만들어서 줬어요 엄마 이제 늘 건강하시고 사랑해요 <웃음> Thank you You know what I said, right? <laughs> Where am I going to put that tree? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, consistency has been uh, one of my uh, themes during my Shabbat. Uh, the word consistentia, it comes from Latin, and it means standing firm, unchanging in nature, standard or effect over time. So during my leave, everywhere I went, I realized that consistency is a source of strength and hope. Amen? Amen. In Korea, I met my family, relatives, friends, and church families and their love has been consistent. Their commitment to the Lord has been consistent. So I was really nourished and healed by their love throughout my staying there. During my uh, mom's 90th birthday, uh, here is the picture. Yeah, <laughs> my sister, brothers, uh, sister-in-law and friends. Um, everyone shared each own episodes of mom's love toward them. It was surprised to see my husband's younger brother there. He came to Korea all the way from America just to be there for my mom. It was a quite a you know, travel to make. So I, I was wondering why, why he spent so much money and time just to be there. And he shared his story. He said uh, about 30 years ago, uh, he had no money and no place to stay. Uh, at the time, my, my husband and I already left Korea and we were in USA. And uh, one day, my mom invited uh, him to stay uh, with the family. And my dad encouraged him to go to a seminary. So that's what he did. He stayed with the family. And I think uh, it was a great gift just offering uh, the home place to stay. But it was only the beginning. And he said, um, every morning, uh, my mom got up early and prepared a warm breakfast and a lunch box for him for over four years with tears in his eyes. He, he said he had never received such love in his whole life. My mom's love really healed him and nurtured him, strengthened his confidence as a valued human being in this world. For some reason, I've never heard this story before. I didn't know. I thought he was doing well, just, you know, and then that was the first time I heard about it. That's why he came all the way from USA to Korea. And his story made everybody <laughs> cry. Um, yes? Yes, he's the second one from the left, uh, standing up. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Uh, my mom's consistent love has made a big difference in his life. He continued to build up his life stronger afterward. He got married, a wonderful wife, had three beautiful children, and raised them in USA. And now he actually prepares, after many, many years graduating seminary, he now prepares to be a local pastor in our annual conference. Hallelujah. <laughs> So he's very happy. Well, our God has been really consistent in his love toward us. That's why we are here today. God's consistent love has saved us, sustained us, and transformed uh, all of us. And that's what matters most. So if we also consistently stay in his love, we will be able to uh, make many, many more fruits of life in this world. So today we read the last chapter of Galatians. Paul concludes his letter with this remark. What matters most is neither circumcision nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. What matters most is not whether you are Jews or Gentiles, but it is that you are a new creation through baptism, through the love of God, through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What matters most is that we are in Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. What a wonderful news. We don't have to be in, just in the world. We can stay always with Jesus in his space. Paul himself was transformed because of Jesus. To Paul, circumcision used to be what mattered most because he believed staying in the works of the law was the only thing that could make his people righteous, enough to be saved from God's wrath. But when he met Jesus, he learned about God's unconditional love toward all the people of faith. That was a revolutionary concept to him. If you believe in God's love, if you, if you believe in God's new creation, in Jesus Christ, you would love God and you would love your neighbors because that's what matters most. Whether you are Jews or Gentiles, free or slaves, rich or poor, male or female, LGBTQIA siblings, or cisgender heterosexual people, citizens or undocumented, Republicans or Democrats, Methodists or Baptists. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to God. It should, matter. It should not matter to all of us because we can be one in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. When we believe in God's love, that's what happens. What matters most is not what makes us different, but what makes us one. Our faith in our loving God 
and his love. That's the good news of Jesus Christ. That's why we share the life-giving love of Jesus Christ today by receiving, taking his body and his blood through Holy Communion for the World Communion Sunday. I want to thank you all because you have been so consistent in your love and your commitment to the Lord. While I was gone, actually I worried a little bit, <laughs> a very little bit, that many, some of you might have not showed up <laughs> or not doing your job, but you have done a wonderful job serving the Lord as same as always. I was so happy to see you all uh, each Sunday morning through YouTube. And um, so it is great to have a strong, uh, loving congregation that I can come back to after a long Shabbat. People talk a lot about the great resignation these days but we will never stop serving our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will never stop serving our neighbors with God's love. We may change how we do that, right? We may change how to serve, how to serve God and our neighbors, but our commitment <coughs> to God and to our Christ vision will stay same always. So let us be consistent as Paul was, as Christ was, as God has been for us. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Let us have a silent prayer, preparing our hearts for the Holy Communion. Amen. Brothers and sisters, come to the table of the Lord, all you who love him and all you who confess your sins and wish to make peace with God and with one another. It is a powerful thing that all the Christians around the world take the communion together today. May God's peace God's love be upon this world deeply and consistently. Amen. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Lord Jesus Christ, on this World Communion Sunday, help us examine our hearts so that we may honor your will with our true gratitude for your grace forgiveness and reconciliation with us. You are the way of peace. Come into the brokenness of our lives and our land with your healing love. Help us to be willing to bow before you in true repentance and to bow to one another in real forgiveness. By the fire of your Holy Spirit, melt our hard hearts and consume the pride and prejudice which separate us. Fill us, O Lord, with your perfect love, which cast out our fear and bind us together in that unity which you share with the Father and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Let us have an individual prayer of confession. Here is the good news. Our Lord Jesus Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. This proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You have made from one every nation and people to live on all the face of the earth. And so, with your people on earth, all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. is your son Jesus Christ by the baptism of his suffering death and resurrection you gave birth to your church delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the spirit he commissioned us to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth and to make disciples of all nations and today, his family in all the world is joining at his holy table. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, and gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come. Holy Spirit on us gathered here, bless us on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. Renew our communion with your church throughout the world and strengthen it in every nation and among every people to witness faithfully in your name. By the Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world 
until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. I'd like to invite Jen to help me with the communion. Our communion, Holy Communion today is a means of grace. So we will be given the gift of grace while we are participating, receiving, and taking the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us have a great faith in God, in his love, that he is going to touch us and be with us and present in all the acts of our daily lives, in all the moments, all the small places where we stay so that we can represent the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever we go. So it is open to everybody if you would like to participate. So you can uh, take it, come forward and take it and receive it. Or you come forward, if you are not certain yet, then put your hands on your uh, <clears throat> heart, then I will give you a prayer of blessing. And after that, we will share this with the Sunday school uh, kids. And those who cannot come forward, uh, we will serve you. Raise your hand. Uh, raise your hand uh, right now if you want to just stay. Uh, we can serve you first. <coughs> or later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let us. Uh, receive the gift.
Let us join in the final um, prayer. Thank you, O Christ, for the feast of life. We are fed by your love. We are strengthened by your life. We are sent forth into this world to live your way and share your joy. We are now commissioned to feed as we have been fed, forgive as we have been forgiven. Love as we have been loved. Thanks be to God. Amen. Please join me in singing, Let There Be Peace on Earth.
let us receive the blessing. May the God of peace who raised Christ from the dead strengthen your inner being for every good work. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and dwell within you this day and evermore. Amen.